from what I've been reading, apparently saunas increase your immune system's response to a whole heap of things, including viruses and bacteria. So I'm hoping I've got, I'm throwing a Hail Mary at this. <laughs> because what I actually have to do today involves these two squares. Well, hopefully only one of them, because it's about an hour a square. I woke up with another head cold. I don't know where I get these things from. It's not like I'm going to the head cold $2 shop. Nonetheless, I have one. So I decided I'm gonna sweat it out. What do you think, Bob? These are nothing more and nothing less than ceramic tiles. I painted this one yellow and I painted this one white. I mean, it was a white tile already, so you can't really see that. And we need these because of this. Little laser printers like this are nowhere near powerful enough to etch straight onto ceramic tile. The paint actually has chemicals in it that when they undergo extreme heat, like when they get hit by a laser, it will cause a chemical reaction that will eat into the ceramic on the surface of this tile. And at the end of it, you have a picture that looks something like that. This isn't paint, it's not ink, it's actually etched into the very surface of that ceramic. So it'll never fade, or it'll never wear, and you can do pretty much whatever you want with it because it's now ingrained in that piece of ceramic. Different paints have different levels of these chemicals in it, so you kind of got to go through your hardware store and just try and find the right spray paint that will work for your laser printer. I found the cheapest white and yellow paints tend to work the best. At any rate, uh, this looks ready. Ooh, steamy. Goodbye, horrible cold. <sighs> um. I don't know if that's going to fix my cold, but it sure makes you sweaty. It's such a ridiculous Sigma male idea, right? I'm going to sweat it out. It can't touch me if I lose all my body water. The pink underwear is just to balance out the Andrew Tate-esque feel of doing a sauna to fix a cold. I do feel much better though. There's a little bit of process with this where I have to first open up Photoshop, and a program called Lightburn, where I gotta do all sorts of magic to try and get the image ready for the future weapon over there. I shan't bore you with that. We'll just get to that bit. White tiles are normally better, but we're gonna go with the yellow one today with a piece of grass on it. Oh, we're pretty close already. Oh man, I give Gadzi crap for bowing down to the machine gods. But this thing's sick, I love using it. Gotta frame it up. We're a little bit off. <laughs> Shall we drag? Yes. This part really stinks, but we're gonna hit the go button and see what happens. Jesus H Christ, Chris, put your put your protective cover on it this time. There we go. That's a little safer. Resume. Oh, much better. This is definitely not going to look the same on that as it does there. But we are looking pretty dang accurate. Yeah! Now, it'll always burn into the paint. The question is, is it going to burn into the actual tile itself? Because it takes a little bit of effort to get this right. Acetone. I ain't gonna do nothing too complicated. We're just gonna put a piece of paper towel on top of it and a little bit of acetone. And I just let that soak. Moment of truth, let's see if it's done it. Ah, it has, it has, it has, it has. At the end of the day, I ended up with something that looks just like this. This is not a perfect science. This is much more like early days of photography. These images are much more like the old plate glass photography that was being done at the turn of the 19th century. It's still pretty cool to be able to make something like this, just like they did back in the day with modern technology. <laughs>